Yes and no, it's not um, all romantic relationships. I think it's just more like uh, reactions to life. And it could be like the political state, it could be just friends, family, um, heartbreak, all of that mixed together, yeah. Um, I think I try to generalize a little more so it's not so specific on just one aspect of like love. So the overall theme was love, but it's not like in the traditional sense of just like romantic love. Yeah. yeah, the first one was the first, it was the first time I was really exploring the idea of like emotion through figures and then I really liked that and so I wanted to just continue that theme and um, in the later pieces, um, the ones right behind me, I started to design a little more and um, I guess it became a little more graphic and I like that too so probably for the next series it'll be just a continuation of that. I've been talking with um, a lot of my friends recently um, because I've been trying to bring it back somehow, but I don't know, it kind of lacked emotion to it and it became more, I, I think it's less personal because you're so far away from the actual like figures and people, things like that. Um, so I've been trying to figure out a way to bring it back somehow, but right now it's I'm not in that headspace to go back into it, yeah. But I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday it'll come back, but. The next series I was planning on slowly implementing it, or it'll be just a complete 180 and it'll be full saturation. Yeah. Really? So, yeah, I, I've been um, mocking so, some stuff up, but I don't know if, I don't know when that's gonna come about yet. Just like friends here and there, just like see what, um, just to get their thoughts on it. It's but never been on social media. No, 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 no way. Like, wow, Mike yeah. Lee's color work. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yeah. So it's either full color or no color. Yeah. Wow. So I, I like, I tend to like contrast and um, I try to make each piece or each show like a reaction from the last, so yeah. <laughs> Again, I don't like to be specific, so I try to generalize and hopefully um, people can relate to it in a sense of, oh, I know that type of person or I know that type of like head shape, um, that type of body, that, or even um, the specific pose. Hopefully they can relate to it emotionally somehow. Um, but it's supposed to just be everybody and nobody at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it's my wildest fantasies. No, it's, um, I, I think I just like the, um, more of the, s just playing around with different silhouettes. So I think curvy bodies tend to have more substance, right? So. Um, they can make more interesting shapes and silhouettes. Yeah. I think it was uh, just over the years. Um, I used to be really detail oriented, I guess even more so in the uh, environments. And then just to counteract that, um, I wanted to go completely in the opposite direction. So it was more of how simple can I get with the figure? And sometimes I started abstracting like last, late last year, but I think um, I pushed it too far to where people couldn't connect with it as much. Um, like it became just a little weird or too weird. So um, I scaled it back and it ended up going a little more tuby, more sausage shapes, I guess, yeah. Um, and I think people are reacting a lot better to it. Yeah, so.
so. Yeah, I used to put like little dots on it, but even that, I thought it was too specific. Yeah, like almost um, Because I didn't really like the word cute. So yeah, like a lot of people would say, oh man, that's really cute. And kind of irked me the wrong way, you know? So, um, so I, I just removed the eyes completely and then I think there was a, there's a deeper emotional, um, or I can achieve like a different emotional level to the work, yeah. Pencil just took way too much time, yeah. Honestly, and I think um, as soon as I got into paints, I, I think I was producing maybe 10 to 20 times more work than um, a single drawing. And the range of values, I could get the full spectrum in paints. Um, but with pencil, it's like, what, maybe to like 80% or something. So um, it's a lot more limiting. Yeah. <laughs> I think with pencil, the early on design process was a lot more intense. So, because like once I got to the actual rendering, that would take, I think the longest piece to eight months. Um, so because of that, like you can't really afford to be free flowing with it. So on the front end, I would just, um, I'd spend like a month, two months just designing the entire image first do like a lighting pass, um, just do all these studies. And then once I got to the final, ac actually making the original art, it would, I would just like, everything would be solved already. So I'm not searching for anything new, yeah. But with, these um, but with these, I can just bang out paintings. If I don't like it, oh well, you know, it didn't take that long. So I can explore a lot more ideas, um, just try different things, yeah. So, and I think with these themes, I think um, I was able to explore a lot more um, options. And if I messed up, then it's okay. You know, I didn't spend three years like, yeah, working on a piece or something. Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of the guys are more self-portraits, I think. Yeah. But yeah, it could be Asian. It could be. Uh, any ethnicity, really, yeah. It's whatever people want, yeah. Awesome. Or whatever people see, I guess, yeah. No, they're never wrong. Um, I think I like to leave it up to, pe I have like a general idea of what the piece is about, but it's really whatever um, each person wants it to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been um, working on some new pieces, and yeah, it'll, it might get more abstract. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I might take a month off just like sketching and thinking about things, yeah. Um, I think I've been on a constant flow of just like producing work, and I think the next month or two might be a good time to like just sit and let things brew a little bit, yeah. A lot of the fundamental drawing, painting, um, and especially the lighting, I learned pretty much like all from animation. And even though a lot of it's not represented here as far as like it looking like animation work, a lot of the fundamental principles of just regular just basic drawing and painting are all applied through I learned through the studio and applied it to my work so I've, I mean I've thought about it for a really long time um, but I think right now it's even though I don't sleep a lot because I end up working from like roughly like 10 to 3 or 4 in the morning every day um, and I've gotten used to that cycle and like I can work with it so until I'm like completely gassed out then yeah we'll see but yeah it's not too bad to the point and I, 
I actually still like going to work, so yeah. And everyone, I like the people and all that, so yeah. I'm not like a hermit, you know, so yeah. I've been thinking about that as far, because I can make the acrylic paintings look like my pencil drawings, so I kind of like that aspect of it, um, of just bringing back where, like how I started sort of um, all the personal work and yeah I don't know yeah I'm trying to still figure out how to go forward yeah the oils it's just I think I can finish in like one or two sittings um, but with acrylic it's still gonna be that it's faster than pencil but it's still tedious on like you'll get carpal tunnel you know because you're just like rendering yeah but because you're still painting in each I guess pencil mark yeah to make it look like pencil but I don't know yeah <laughs> <laughs> no I'm trying to I, I think I'm still paying my dues for sure and yeah I think it's still a long I still see it as like a 20 year thing so so I just have to keep working at it. Yeah. But, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>